Uh, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today we're going to talk about tape measures, or at least uh, a particular situation you may have with a tape measure. In this case, we're talking about just a Stanley Power Lock 12 footer, and the problem with it is it's not retracting. Uh, the lock is not on, as you can see, uh, but it's not going back in on its own like it should. So, I mean, you don't want it to fly in, but you want it to return by itself without having to push it back in like this. So, we're going to open this thing up and show you what you can do to fix that problem stick around all right so uh, most every two uh, tape measure is put together the same way uh, on the back side of it the non logo side this should be a screw or several screws for the bigger ones in this case uh, it's a 12 footer so it's got one screw right in the middle and that screw has double purpose it holds the two sides of the tape measure together as well as the belt clip so we're gonna go ahead and remove that screw now what's important here is to hold everything together. You don't want things, there's a spring inside here, and you don't want that all just kind of flying out once you get that screw out. So we got the screw, we're gonna set that aside. Then we can go ahead and take the clip and set that aside. We're gonna carefully take the back off of this thing, and you're just gonna wanna slightly wiggle it back and forth. Hopefully it'll loosen up. If it don't, sometimes you can find a spot. Again, uh, don't want it to fly apart, but you might be able to find a spot to Get the screwdriver in there or even right there and start to get it to pop apart this one is being a little stubborn and this one happens to be plastic so i don't want to break it okay there we go i think it's starting to come apart but it appears in this particular one you have the screw in the middle but also in each corner there's a little clip that holds it so i'm just working my way around you can hear that pop i just worked my way all the way around i think i have one more right here slowly working it up close close to the corners i can and then turning the screwdriver until I hear it pop. And there we go. Now you can clearly see space there. I don't want to open it like this, but you can see I got the space all the way around. So we're going to hold it back like this. And, no, well, I guess I got one more I missed here. Either that or it popped back together. Oh, there we go. I'm going to slowly take this back off. I'm going to keep my finger over this. I don't want this to come up out of there because, again, there's a spring inside there. And we can take this piece out and set it aside as well. Now what we can do, tighten up the spring. And these are a little bit different than other models. But what you can do is you take the tape out of this here. And you're going to basically wind it around again. Just carefully go around in a circle with the whole tape. This is putting more tension on the spring. Come back around the, the side here where the tape comes out the side and that's adding basically another wrap on that spring. Oop, see, that's what you gotta be careful of. Now, I didn't lose it, uh, but I think it's still not pulling very much. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it another time. So again, what we're doing is we're just holding the base from turning and we're turning this whole center piece around or we're turning the base around doesn't matter which way as long as you're basically winding up that spring and what i'm going to do just so it doesn't come apart i'm going to set this on it without putting the screw on it hold it and see if it wants to return by itself i'm just going to hold it there and see ah now it's going back in much better than it was before so what i'll do Carefully take this back off. We're gonna put this piece in, and that's that's the locking piece. Let me just show you again, so hopefully you can see this. Let me get close. All I did is I held the base separate from the whole spool here, took this and went around the tape measure, basically cranking the spool up one more turn. Now I'm not gonna do that because it seems like it's right where it is. We'll let this return back in here but you're just adding another turn on the spool and bringing the tape around with it and then back out here. And in behind this is a spring. Okay, we're gonna put it together and try it just like this. Set that down carefully. We'll put the locking mechanism back in position, put it in the unlocked position for now. We'll put the back cover back on it. And then we're gonna take the screw. You can actually start the screw in there first. Then you can take the clip and slide it down and tighten it down all right i went ahead and opened this thing back up again uh, to see if i can find uh, more issues and in this case sometimes the whole uh, coil will come out in this case this cover comes off separate and uh, it exposes the spring which you can see here 
is hooked to the center post, coiled up, and then it's hooked to the end of the tape measure right up there. It's probably hard to see on camera, but you can see the end of the tape measure. So what's happening when you coil this around, I don't know if I should do this without the cover on it, is it's adding more tension to that spring, more and more tension. So I'm not sure why I'm not getting, uh, not really getting it to tighten up that much. I might go ahead and put several wraps on this thing and see if that helps. Uh, but I will do it with this in place. And I probably put like 10 or 15 more coils on it. And now it is definitely pulling that tape back in for me. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the screw back in it. So basically I did essentially what I showed you in the beginning part of the video, um, but I just added a lot more turns. It seemed, seemed like the thing had lost its, um, lost its uh, grip. Now you can't go too far with it because you gotta be able to pull this thing all the way out to its full capacity. So you wanna be cautious about over tightening them, over tightening them. Um, but if they're under tightened, they will not pull that tape back in for you. And it can be frustrating when you get a thing out there and you're trying to feed the thing back in. So the whole point of the lock is to hold it out if you want it to be out, not for the tape not to return itself properly uh, when you're done using it. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, a lot of you are not uh, subscribers, so please take a minute to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you're reminded when we have a new video that comes out. Also, give it a thumbs up if you like the video or give me some tips if you do something different. Uh, this is a relatively inexpensive tape measure. Pretty basic, plastic, Stanley, uh, power lock, 12-footer. Uh, but I'd like to hear what you have to say as well. Uh, have a great day. And if you want to help support our channel, there's some links down in the description that you can do that. Or just make sure you share, like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. So I have another tape measure here that's also giving trouble. It actually goes in and then pops back out. Um, it's essentially the same thing, but what I'm going to do is just do it as a time lapse. So you can just watch it. I won't talk you through it. It's pretty much the same thing as the little one. So uh, if you're interested in seeing a little bit about how this one looks inside, then uh, take a look, and we'll show you uh, what we need to do to fix it. There you have it. So that one there is just the bigger model. Uh, it does have the four screws in the back, but essentially the same thing. I just wound that coil up a couple times and now it's not popping out uh, like it was.